Thanks. And uh, thanks again for the lift. It's outside your job description, I know. It's no problem. So, the acquisitions? Yes, we'll need to draft contracts for the target banks. The idea is to have the agreements ready to go while we're doing due diligence. You want me to start cracking on a draft when we're done here? No, but thank you. I'll do the first pass and then you can proof it. Sure, whatever's best for you. Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down the new sneak peek trailer for next week's episode of Better Call Saul, Season 4, Episode 3, Something Beautiful. With that being said, warning is spoilers for everything in the show up to Episode 402, and let's jump right into this. This sneak peek is titled, Kim Goes Back to Work at Mesa Verde, and that's exactly what the sneak peek entails. Now, in the last episode, we saw Kim implying to Jimmy that she needed to go back to work soon, and we see exactly that here. Now, how was your day? I just mostly stayed here, trying to get organized. No pressure from Paige and Kevin, but I gotta get back on the horse, right? You are right. Although Kim's arm hasn't completely healed, she's still bringing herself back into Mesa Verde in order to minimize any damage done to her career due to her needing to take time off to recover from her accident. At the end of the last season, she decided to take a step back and let herself take a breather to heal properly as she gets her mindset in the right position instead of rushing into things and ultimately hurting herself more because of it. Kim realizes that crashing her car was as much of a warning as it was a wake-up call, and I'm interested to see how the new season 4 Kim decides to handle her work ethic. I hope that she still pushes herself to do the best that she can, as that mindset is what got her here in the first place, but I don't want to see her overworking herself again. Will she learn to find the balance between working too much and not working hard enough? As we see her walking into the Mesa Verde building during the sneak peek, we can see that her suit isn't completely on properly due to her broken arm, but more importantly, her ponytail isn't ton up the way it normally is. Now granted, she's probably just unable to do her ponytail the way that she wants because of her broken arm, but in my eyes, this still implies how she's more laid back now as opposed to season 3 when she was just completely overworking herself. I mean, come on, normally I wouldn't be focusing so much time discussing hair, but the Kim Wexler ponytail is quite infamous within the Better Call Saul fandom, and I don't think I've ever seen her go to work without it. Anyways, we then see Kim getting right into it with Paige as Kevin eventually walks in to greet her as well. Kevin is always happy to see her, and he always seems to give her the benefit of the doubt even when we think that he won't, so hopefully Kim can stay on his good side. And this is a big deal. Walker Ridge is eager. I agree. They took a hit in the market adjustment. They're vulnerable and they know it. I think we should prepare a package for both. Is that Kim Wexler out here? Kevin, it's good to see you. I heard you were here, just wanted to say hi, look at you. Baby bird with a broken wing. Oh, it's fine, doesn't even hurt. Just a pain in the butt. In the promo trailer for 403, we also hear Kevin asking Kim if everything's okay as they're in this different room, so hopefully she doesn't miss out on any sort of important opportunity or something. Speaking of which, in a previous season 4 trailer, we actually overheard Kim talking about a massive expansion, so will we eventually see her try to pitch an impressive idea of some sort to initiate her return to work? Kim, is there something wrong? It's a very aggressive expansion. Also, is her saying this in the same room as when Kevin asked her if everything is okay? I'm not too sure how the two pieces of conversation will link together, but they do appear to be in the same room, so let me know what you guys think. This sneak peek was kinda bland to be honest, but hopefully that just means that the episode is so good that they don't want to spoil any of it, right? I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today, as it really helps me out more than you can imagine. Feel free to subscribe for more Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad content in the near future, and and if you'd like to take that extra step in helping support my videos and the channel in general, consider checking out my Patreon as well. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter too, link to both of those in the description. I'm fairly active on Twitter even when I'm not posting videos, and I'm always retweeting everything I can involving both the Better Call Saul and Walking Dead universe. But anyways guys, as always, I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out!